I want to know that it's not taking away more habitat from those orangutans who so desperately need more habitat and not less. Yeah, yeah. And when I buy a British product, I want to know that it's been produced without damaging impacts on native species or on, or, or on ecosystems like our chalk streams. Uh, and I want to s everyone, and this is the crucial point, Madam Deputy Speaker, I want everyone, the consumers, the people who buy products around the world who can achieve so much more uh, than the politicians, the regulators, because their decisions determine whether or not there is a market for products that come from unsustainable sources. Uh, and when a product does come from an unsustainable source, Madam Deputy Speaker, I want every consumer to be saying, no, I won't accept that, I do not want it. It is that power, the power of those consumers, which can change all of this. And we need them to know how. And that is what this bill would seek to achieve. A very clear signal every time somebody buys a fruit product that they know whether or not it's going to damage the environment or whether actually it comes from a source uh, where the producer has been smart enough to make sure that the natural ecosystems can continue to thrive alongside the manufacture of that product. We have already seen from this dreadful pandemic what the price is of misusing nature. I think as a race and as a nation we need to start changing and we need to start changing, Madam Deputy Speaker, right now. I commend this bill to the House. The question is that the Right Honourable Member have leave to bring in the bill. As many as that opinion say aye. As many as that opinion say aye. aye. Of the contrary, no, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Who will prepare and bring in the bill? Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, Theo Clark, Barry Gardner, Andrew Rossendale, uh, Andrew Salou, Chris Bryant, Tracy Crouch, Cherylyn McCrory and myself. Chris Green. Food Labelling Environmental Sustainability Bill. Second reading what day? Friday the 12th of, no of March, Madam Deputy Speaker. Friday the 12th of March. Thank you. The clerk will now proceed to read the orders of the day. Overseas Operations, Service Personnel and Veterans Bill, not amended in the Public Bill Committee, to be considered. No. We will start with, clause, with new clause 1, with which it will be convenient to consider the other selected new clauses and amendments as listed on the selection paper. I call Kevin Jones to move new clause 1. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ms. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. Could I... Uh, move new clause one and the other new clauses and amendments uh, that stand in my name and for uh, sake of time uh, Madam Deputy Speaker I will not speak to every single uh, amendment um, yeah. my friend says please do but uh, I'm sure other members want to make a contribution to this uh, debate Madam Deputy Speaker it's been my aim uh, since being involved in this speaking at second reading and also being on committee and I think that of uh, the Labour front bench is to try and improve this bill. Uh, I am someone uh, in my nearly 19 years in this House uh, who is proud of our armed forces, wants to, because as a friend of them, wants to help uh, in any way I can. I stand up for them and I stand